welcome back to another video tutorial and in this one i will be finishing off the shorts and the shoes of this cartoon boy so without wasting any time remember to subscribe like put your comments down below and i'll hit you right back so without wasting any time let's jump right in Okay, so I'll start by selecting these polygons, pushing E on the keyboard for extender and adding a line. Question mark to deselect. Okay, I'll select this select loop and I'll stretch it in like so. Okay, I just wanted to make that. Okay, select these, select loop and then I'll move them down. Okay, and stretch them a bit like this and position them. That looks awesome. Let's zoom in, let's go down here and... Okay, so I'll select this line, select loop, and I'll just pull it down a bit. Because this part was actually not cool i like this i'll go in another layer and i will select a box and i'll create the heel of the shoe and i'll just make it wider here on the top view and i'll add some segments like this you can add the segments using the keyboard arrows up, down, left, right. And I'll try to shape this box into a shoe. This looks good, this looks like a foot. I'll just shrink it uh, with the stretch tool. I'll select the top here and I'll widen it, pull it inside a bit and I'll select these top polygons and delete them. Change this to texture wired so that I can see my object. And I'll select this edge and I'll extend and I'll shrink. I'll change the selection to mouse and I'll shrink it, move it, I'll shrink it so that it follows the reference image. Push tab on the keyboard. I'll extend again, pull it inside. Using the scaling tool, shift H, I'll scale it in and I'll continue extruding and once I extrude, I stretch it to reduce it in size. Okay, so what I'll do on the top view is I'll go around and I'll shape it this side as well. So just make sure your shoe looks round enough. So I'll shape it round on the top like this. Okay, I like that. I'll select this edge down below, select loop and I also try to shape this edge so that it looks good. Okay, I'll change this to point mode so that I can see my points as I move them. I'll just try to make it round. Okay, that looks good. I'll select this, select loop, and I'll just shrink it a bit. Try to position it. Okay. I'll select the top. We continue extruding. Select loop, and E for extrude. 
I'll shrink it like this and I'll just try to shape these more like the shoe okay I like the way that looks already I'll extrude and I'll drag it in and I'll just pull it inside and H and I'll drag while holding control to flatten these polygons and I will select these shift closing bracket to select more polygons and I'll just shrink them okay and we are done with our shoe look at that looks very nice I like this I will just stretch it a bit make it bigger so that it fits the reference image on the top view i'll position it and rotate it fit it where the shoe is supposed to be okay that looks nice okay i'll just stretch it a bit just a bit okay that looks nice i'll position it even here at the right side and I'll get, I'll go back to the loop boy and I'll select this edge, select loop and I'll extend it and drag it down like so. Okay. And I think I should just stretch it to make it bigger. Okay. I like this. Okay, so to put it even on the other side, select the object, shift V on the keyboard, then push N for numeric, and space on the keyboard, and we have mirrored it, and look at our boy, this looks very nice. See you in my next video, I like this, remember to like, subscribe, and, well, comment down below if you have anything to say.